Well, my name is Hannah Stag. Uh, I'm eight, tied, eight times world champion uh, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, all on the black belt level, uh, three times ADCC champion, and I'm here with you guys to share my experience uh, of my tournaments and uh, also like share some good techniques with you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. We're going to do a drill which will help in the end of the, the arm lock skate. Okay, so I will start with my chest on top of the person's back and my both arms on top of the back as well. Why? Because if I hug the, person, the person's back like this, the person on the bottom has uh, uh, other options to submit and to escape easily. Okay, so yes. So I will start with my both hands on top of the back, my chest on top of the person's back as well, putting a lot of pressure here and then keeping my hips as low as possible. Okay, so I'll stay on my toes. And I'll choose one side and walk to the same side. So I'll walk to my right side, okay? If I walk to my right side, I have to put my right knee between the person's leg and the person's arm, okay? After that, I will hold both collars under the arms. Okay, so I'll step, put my, my both hands on top of the back again, okay? Stay on my toes again and walk to the other side. Okay, after walk to the other side, left side, left knee inside between the person's leg and the person's arm and hold the collars posture up a little bit okay so this is the drill okay i'll do faster one two three in the back one two and inside now we're going to defend the arm lock okay or arm bar okay so the person is attacking my right arm okay so i have to make sure okay i will put the same hand on the other biceps, okay? So this is like, will be my basic escape, okay? So the person is attacking my right arm, I will put my right hand on my left biceps and leave the other hand as close as possible to the leg. It's not a problem if I can leave my arm here, but maybe I won't be able to pass my arm and defend the position correctly. So I have to leave closer to the leg to, uh, to have like a, to defend the position better, okay? So once the person pass the leg over the head, I will bring my hand right behind the knee Okay, so this is the first step. Let's go one more time. So, one, two. I know the person's attacking my right arm, so I'll put my right hand on the other biceps and leave my hand on the person's chest, okay? Once the person passes the leg over the head, bring my hand right behind the knee, okay? After the first step of the position, okay, now is the detail, okay? So we have three important details in this position here. The first one, make sure your hand is inside. If your hand's outside, okay, you're still defending the position, but the person here has another option to attack. Okay, so here, you're safe, okay? The second uh, important detail in this position, I have to put pressure, like stacking the person on the ground, okay? And the third important detail, I have to put my foot on the ground to apply more pressure, but I also cannot forget, I cannot put my, my weight too much towards the head because the person on, on the bottom has another option as well. Yes, going to the re reverse arm lock. Okay, so once I block the position, have my foot on the ground, okay? Just for the exercise, okay? I'll wait for the person to raise the hip. Raise your hip. Once the, person, the person's hip comes all the way down, then is the time to take my arm out, okay? Why? Because if I try to take my arm off once the hip is down, then she, the person has my arm. I'll tap. Okay, so hips up, one, hips down, boom, then it's time. Take your arm out, the hand on the, uh, on the back of the knee, stay there. The other hand will grab the back of the pants. Okay, now I'll move the person to the side, and then I will end up on the same position of the, for the second drill. On the side, bring your knee side, hold the collars, and posture up. Let's go one more time. So, the person's attacked my arm, hand on the biceps, leave the other arm on top. Block, foot on the ground, stack the person on the ground, the person raise the hip, hips come all the way down, take your arm out, control the pants, or the gear, or the belt, whatever you can grab. Push the person to the side, once the person gets on your knees, third position, bring your knee side, plant the other foot on the ground, post the other foot on the ground, hold the collars and posture up.